It is Monday, February 10th, 2025 at 9.20 p.m. And I am going to make a tutorial on how to export Chief Architect and get it into D5 Render. And I want to do it in less than five minutes. So let's get going. All right. So first off, you're going to open up your Chief Architect project and you're going to export to Collada DAE. It's Collada DAE. I'm going to get this warning that you probably won't. I'm going to name this file tutorial. There we go. And I'm going to hit save. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to export. Now, the key in this is you're going to download Blender. The great thing is Blender is free. So now I'm going to go to Blender. Oh, right. It's going to give me these errors that I don't have these files included, which does not matter at this stage. And so I'm going to go to Blender. I'm going to open up Blender. I'm going to go to Blender and I'm going to import. Now, Blender, this is not a, this is just an empty Blender window. If you do not know how to use Blender, that's absolutely fine. I don't know how to use Blender. What I do know how to use is import and export. And that's all you need to know about Blender. So I'm going to import a Collada, which is the file format. I'm going to, and here it is. Here's our tutorial, DAE. I'm going to import it. Now, here's the magic part. Do not change anything in your file. You don't have to swing around a camera. You don't have to do anything fancy. All you have to do is import your file and then go to export and then export it as in .fbx. Okay. And so here we go. I'm going to call this file tutorial tutorial and export a dot fbx in the same location doesn't matter what location you put it in and now i'm going to open up d5 render so this is a new d5 render a new d5 render project i'm going to go to the import which is up here top left import and i'm going to import our tutorial file okay so this is our tutorial.fbx, which I just exported from D5 Render. And it's already loaded. Now I'm going to click on it. Okay, and so now it's loading. And now I could drop it in the project wherever I want. It does not matter where I drop this because, and I'm going to show you why in a moment. But there we go. We're done. We're at less than three minutes. And the project, oh, one thing. Once you import it, go to objects and then lock it so you don't accidentally move it around. Because if it wasn't locked, then I could move it around and I don't want to do that. Okay. So I'm going to go to object and lock it. And now let's see if I have my, I'll put it on fly so I could walk around walk through the project here. Now it's going to be very dark inside because there's no windows. So let's bring up some assets and go to favorites for me, favorite materials. No, I have it on grass, uh, favorite materials. And I'm looking for normal glass. So normal glass, I'm going to click that. And then see these black lines that highlight so everything with that material in the black lines is going to change when I click it. So there we go. I just click normal window. And so now when we walk through the front door, it won't be completely dark. Okay. And so there we go. We have all of our colors. Now, the reason that my walls are different colors is because when I'm putting down materials, if like, if I just left everything drywall color or white, it would change everything at once. Like, here's an example. Let's bring up some materials again. And let's just say I wanted to, I'm just going to grab materials. And I wanted to put it on this wall. Well, if all of my walls were white, it would put this material on every single wall in the house, which, of course, that's not what I'd want to do. So um, now you could add furniture. Now you could do whatever you want with your project. And that's it. So we are done in less than five minutes. But if you've made it this long in the video, I'm going to give you a little bonus. So here's the best thing about this process. When you're back in chief, so now I'm back in chief, and let's add 
I don't know, whatever is the closest here. Let's add a bathtub. All right. So we're going to add a bathtub to the living room. Why? Why not? Um, but here's what's great about this. So I'm going to export again. So now there's a bathtub there. You know what? Let's do a bathtub and let's change the uh, back wall to whatever material is here. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is a uh, Coronado stone. We're going to go with this and we're going to spray paint this wall as an accent wall. And then hit the auto generated part there. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to export. I'm going to export a Colada again. And it's going to still give me these warnings, which again, you won't have. And I'm going to overwrite my file because I don't need to uh, go back to it. Now, there is one thing. If you do want to make changes, actually, no, I'll, I'll change. No, I'll do it this way. Uh, do I want to replace it um, like the FBX? Uh, no, I'm not going to replace it. I'll do tutorial two our tutorial stone wall plus tub. Okay. All right. So now it's going to export. Now I could have overwritten the file, but I'm just doing it this way because uh, to show you exactly why I'm doing it this way. All right. I'm going to get the same warnings here. Now I'm going to go back to Blender. Now I'm going to control Z or, or I could just hit delete, but I'm going to undo the import here. So I'm going to control Z and now I'm going to import again, the same file, but instead I'm going to do a uh, tutorial stone wall and tub. So now I know that this is the stone wall and tub looks the same. See it's, it dropped in the exact same place and I'm not moving it. Right. So now I'm going to export it as a .fbx, and then I'm going to name it tutorial. Now the thing with the thing with um, uh, uh, Blender is it will not overwrite uh, a file. It 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 will not overwrite a file that you've already named. So I'm going to have to um, go rename. Let's say tutorial to tutorial one. Let's refresh this. Okay, so now I could save it as tutorial. All right, so it's exporting the .fbx, okay? So now I'm gonna go back to D5 render. Here's where the magic happens, right? So I'm in D5 render, I made that change to the file. What I now wanna do is go to tutorial, okay? I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna go to reload. Okay, so what that's gonna do is it's going to reload the .fbx file in the same place. So let, let's say I've changed the wall color. So as a matter of fact, let's do that. Let's uh, change. Oh, I, I changed this one, but I undid it. So let's bring up materials by hitting M. And let's say I want to do, let's say I want to do limestone floors. Okay. So those are my floors now. So now I have like a polished concrete looking floor. And for um, paint on the wall, let's do, uh, let's just do plastic, just something white here to change these walls, change these walls. Now I'm, oh, okay, wait a minute. Uh, let's go back to that. When you select one, make sure it's highlighted before you start going and clicking things. There we go. There we go. And here we are there and let's get this out of the way okay so now you see that i've made changes to my project here the one thing now i'm going to do is i'm going to go to tutorial i'm going to hit reload all right and it's going to ask me hey are you sure you want to do this now see what just happened the tub is now in the project but none of my walls changed so all it does is it reloads your model while still keeping all of the things that you've put into your D5. So if I would have already put in all my furniture and all my accessories and staged the whole thing, but then I realize, oh, I messed up my chief file and I go back, I don't have to restage. All I have to do is save it as the same name. 
go to right click and then reload like you just saw. Now, the one thing that you need to know is you're not able to undo. So if I undo, if I hit undo, it's not going to undo the move of that file, right? And, and it's also not letting me undo any of the changes that I made prior to updating that. That's just one thing to keep in mind when you're making these type changes. But um, let's get some, this light is pretty harsh. So let's change this to midday or something. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. That's that that is the bonus tip. Uh, I told you how to do it in less than five minutes, and here's this little bonus tip in the next five minutes. And that is it for this video. So thank you for watching. If this was helpful, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you want me to make more tutorials like this, or if you need more help with either D5 Render or Chief Architect, uh, I would be uh, uh, it'd be fun to help you and make more videos. So thanks for watching this and goodbye.